Hello, welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad. My name is Karen Breyer and today we are going to make Thai style curry. The ingredients in this recipe are olive oil, minced garlic, diced onions, diced carrots, diced peppers. If you choose two different colors, I chose yellow and red, but you could use orange or green. We've got diced zucchini, tomato sauce, soy sauce, um, dry roasted peanuts, curry powder, garbanzo beans, frozen peas, and salt. Wash and dry the vegetables, which I already did, and then we're gonna chop them up. Well, we're gonna dice them, so I've already done that. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to turn a big pot on medium high, and we're gonna heat the olive oil. So we're gonna use one to two teaspoons of olive oil. I'll, I'll just use one. We're gonna saute the onion and garlic. Okay, we're just gonna wait for a minute while that gets hot. So we're going to use one teaspoon. Well, actually, you could use one to two teaspoons of minced garlic one cup to one and a half cups of diced onions. So this is uh, one heaping. It's close to one and a half. Let me turn it down. That's a little too high, medium high. We're gonna actually turn it down to medium also. Here's our onions. And we're gonna Cook them until the onions are soft or translucent, maybe about one or two minutes. And just keep um, stirring them around every few seconds until they're done. Okay, so the onions are pretty soft and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the carrots and the peppers. And I have one cup of diced carrots. And also I have actually a little more than one cup of peppers, yellow and red. Okay, so we have our carrots and peppers and you can adjust those to how you like or what you have on hand. If you have a lot of carrots, you can put more carrots in. One thing that's nice is to get a lot of different colors. So we're gonna saute these for about five minutes until the vegetables are tender and we're about over medium heat. Okay, so the vegetables are pretty tender. They've been simmering about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add the zucchini next. Four to five cups, diced. You could probably even try um, some yellow squash in here too would be good. We wanna stir this up and then we're gonna Cover the pan and we're gonna simmer it about five minutes. So you wanna turn down the heat just a little, maybe medium low. And while, while it's simmering, we're gonna go ahead and make our curry sauce. Okay, to make our curry sauce, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend our peanuts. We have three quarters cup and a quarter cup. The quarter cup we're saving for later to garnish our curry, it's delicious. Okay. So three quarters cup of peanuts. We've got eight ounces of tomato sauce. And it's easy, you just get an eight ounce can. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. If you want, you could use the low sodium. This is just regular. And you could use more or less to taste. You might want a little less. And then one to two tablespoons of curry powder. And curry powder is a blend of different spices. So different curry powders taste differently. So you're gonna to want to adjust it to your taste. I'm gonna go ahead and put one and a half tablespoons. And then at the end, I'll check it. If I wanna add more, I can then. Okay. And then we have salt, one half to one teaspoon salt. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put one half and I can add more later. So we're gonna go ahead and blend up all the ingredients. We're gonna blend it until it's smooth. I'm gonna start at low and then increase the speed.
Okay, so it's pretty smooth. And that's good. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to mix it with our vegetables as soon as the zucchini is done. And I think the zucchini needs about a couple more minutes, so we'll come back in a couple minutes. Okay, so the vegetables have been cooking a little longer than five minutes, and I'm going to check. They look cooked well to me. I'm going to check a carrot because they're usually the hardest. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and put the curry sauce in. And if you want the curry sauce a little thinner, you could add some water. Try it and see how you like it. Okay, so you're just going to stir it around. And next we're going to add our garbanzo beans. And we want to keep it on the heat still, it's still cooking. We're pretty much going to be heating the garbanzo beans. I'm going to stir those around. And then last, we're going to put the peas. And when everything's hot, it will be ready. Like I said, you could add a little water if you want. So we're going to let that cook just for a couple more minutes. Okay, I'm going to just add a little water. It's up to you if you like it thinner or thicker. So that was about a quarter of a cup. You could also add it to the blender if you want to add it at that time if you know how you like it. Okay, so this is almost done. It smells amazing, you wouldn't believe. We just need to wait till the garbanzo beans and the peas are cooked all the way through and heated. Okay, while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and check the seasoning to see how it tastes. It's so good. I love it. I do wanna add more salt. I think I'll add a little more curry powder too. I'm gonna add the other half of the tablespoon that I didn't add before. And I'm gonna add about um, a quarter more teaspoon of salt. And we're just waiting for it to get hot, so, because the peas were frozen, but they cook just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna check it one more time to see how my seasonings are. I'm guessing it's just right. Perfect. I think it is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. Mix it up one more time. And I'm just gonna put some over the top of my rice. You could also use couscous or quinoa if you wanna know how to make either of those recipes. You could check out one of my other lessons at Cooking Lessons for Dad YouTube channel. Okay, and remember that other quarter cup of peanuts we had? This is what it's for. You just sprinkle some on top, and of course you can use more than a quarter cup. I usually just put a dish on the table and people can take what they want and put how much they want. Look how beautiful this is. It smells so good. I already got a preview of how it tastes, so I know it tastes excellent, but the peanuts on top make it even better. So this is a super healthy, super easy recipe. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be one of your favorite recipes. Okay, let me know how it turns out at my blog at cookinglessonsfordad.com or write a comment below on my YouTube channel. Okay, here we go, we gotta try it. Mm. It is the best. This is great. Try it this week. Have a good day.